Hello, I'm Lori Vick from University Hospitals and welcome to The Health Difference. The Kurlowski family was thrilled when baby Thomas arrived looking perfect as could be, but two days later his newborn hearing test revealed that Thomas was profoundly deaf and that changed their world suddenly. When I first heard the diagnosis, I was just, I was nervous, I was scared for, for Thomas to what was going to happen, what was going to happen to him in school, you know, with his, with, with friends, where was he going to be able to communicate with his friends, with teachers. That fear turned to hope when they turned to the renowned cochlear implant program at University Hospitals, where the experts determined Thomas's cochlea wasn't working. The cochlea, or inner ear, is responsible for turning sound vibrations into electrical signals for the brain. Dr. Cliff McGarrion suggested cochlear implants. What the cochlear implant does is it, it takes the sound itself from a microphone and directly takes the place of the hair cell within the cochlea to bypass, really, the hair cell and directly stimulate the auditory nerve. Are you a good boy? Yeah. Now Thomas is hearing and speaking just fine. We knew that by age one we really needed to get him a cochlear implant or else he really lose a delicate window of time to learn how to speak. And I never thought that day would come that he would be able to hear and communicate and play and have friends and just be like a normal kid. It's amazing. And I thank Dr. McGarrion for that. And Thomas is pretty happy about that too. I hear real good. For more information or to get a doctor referral, call 866-UH4-CARE anytime night or day or visit our website because at University Hospitals, our doctors make the difference.